today's video, I want to show you how to apply makeup to a hairy face. I have seen face shaving all over the internet recently, and although it works for some people, it is something that I have never personally tried, but my mother is Italian, my father is Argentinian, I am a hairy monster, and I grow hair in all sorts of places. And a lot of times, powders and foundations really pick that up and make them look more apparent. So even though I've never shaved my face, I have found ways to minimize the way that my hair looks on my face. So I wanted to bring you my favorite products and my little tips and tricks so that if you're self-conscious about your hair too, you can embrace it. Anyways, let's get started. I will show you guys how to apply makeup if you have a a little bit or a lot of it of peach fuzz. So the first thing you want to do is apply a primer. A primer is like an extra little sealant that's going to stick onto your face and kind of lay those hairs down. So this is what I'm using from Becca. This is great. It is a little bit of a thicker primer and you do want to use something that's a little bit thicker um, just because that will help to mattify things more. This is also a mattifying primer which is why I like it. Um, so if you do have oily skin I would highly recommend it. I'm just applying from the center of my face outward and take special care here. Kind of using this as like a glue. Just to kind of seal everything down and into place. Primer will not only make your makeup last longer, but it'll also add a little bit of a sealant over your pores to make your pores look smoother, and again, to keep those hairs in place. Next, I'm going to use a setting sealer or a setting spray. Now, not just any setting spray will work. You wanna find one that is specifically a little bit tacky and will kind of hold things down. Again, this is all about gluing those hairs to the face. This is the Mist and Fix from Makeup Forever, and what's great about this is that it has an acrylic copolymer in it. Now, what is an acrylic copolymer? Basically, that is just fancy jargon for an ingredient that you want if you want your makeup to last. It's actually something that is found commonly in hair styling bombs and styling treatments, so it's very good at keeping things in place. And whether it's the hair on your head or the hair here on your face, the acrylic copolymer in this is what's going to do the trick. So that's just all fancy jargon, but it's the reason that I do love this specific one. So I'm just going to spray this onto my skin and kind of focus on the areas that do have a little bit of the hair sticking up. For me, that is generally along the hairline. Then you just kind of want to pat this down, just like as if you were applying a moisturizer. Also make sure that you're going in the direction of the hair growth. If the hair growth is growing down and you start pushing upwards, it's going to lift those hairs up. We don't want that. Then you just want to give that a moment to dry. Next, you can go in with your foundation. Now the important thing about this step is the tool that you're using to apply your foundation as well as the formula of foundation that you're using. You want to use a more light coverage foundation and if you do need something that's a little bit more full coverage, then go ahead and go in with a concealer first. You want something that's light coverage because anything that's too thick will almost plaster the hairs but make them look unnatural. This will smooth them over but not lift them up and not give them that Oh God, that kind of sealant look. You know if you have a hair and it's got all of this junk on it, you can almost see the product on it. This is the Beyond Perfecting from Clinique. This is actually a concealer and a foundation in one. It comes with a little doe foot applicator. And this is great because it is buildable and it is light coverage. So I'm gonna start by applying that here and kind of streak this down over my face. And you also wanna make sure that you are using the right tool. And when it comes to tools, I would argue against using a brush and suggest using a beauty blender. The beauty blender is amazing because it really squishes product into your skin. Whereas a brush, you use it in circular motions, it can kind of pick up those hairs or even remove a little bit of the primer that we were using to keep everything in place. So when using a beauty blender, I'm patting, kind of like a bouncing motion, and I'm also kind of slightly flicking it downwards. And this just applies the product evenly, buffs it out, and then doesn't destroy any of these hairs that we've already gotten to stay in place. Also, if you love the Beauty Blender, I will link you to a video I created on how to get the most out of your Beauty Blender. Now that we've applied our foundation, we're gonna go back in with this setting spray and spray it lightly on the face, and then use the Beauty Blender to dab it on. This adds another little layer of that sealant and protectant just to keep everything locked in. This also freshens up the foundation as well, depending on how many layers you applied. And do you see how well that's working? That's even getting my actual hairs from my head to stick down and seal to the skin. And that's exactly what's happening on these finer hairs that are on the face, so. Last but not least, it is time for powder. Now, I would recommend against using the brush. Again, because we got these hairs in place, the last thing you wanna do is take a brush and buff them all up and smooth them out. If you do wanna use a brush, use a very, very dense one. This one is from Tarte Cosmetics, and kind of pat and press 
press on. So what I would personally recommend is something like this, like a makeup sponge, but literally just use this to kind of press on anywhere that you feel that you get a little bit oily. And you really wanna avoid using too much powder over a hairy face because powder is really what sticks to those hairs and the powder is what makes them look more apparent. And if you can get away without wearing a powder, just using a setting spray or a mattifying foundation and primer, that's what I would recommend. But once you get that on, your facial hair should be in place. They should be much less noticeable and you should be looking pretty much fuzz free. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to apply makeup to a hairy face. This is what I personally use when I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious about my whiskers. Um, but if you have any other tips or tricks, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit like. If you have any more video requests, put them in the comments. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already because we post new videos every Monday and every Thursday. So I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.